Hi, I'm Tony Malkin, CEO, President, and Chairman of Empire State Realty Trust. 2021 marks the Chinese Lunar New Year of the Ox. On this special occasion, we would like to send our sincere greetings to everyone who celebrates the Lunar New Year, especially our friends in the Chinese community, both in America and in China and around the world. Each year at the Empire State Building, we celebrate this joyful holiday with the sitting Chinese Consul General. This year, that's Ambassador Wan Peng. We are proud that this lighting continues to celebrate not only the Lunar New Year, but also the ongoing partnership between the Empire State Building and the Chinese people and people of Chinese descent all around the world. To celebrate this significant holiday, the Empire State Building, from sunset until 2 a.m., will be lit in red on February 10th. Additionally, our Fifth Avenue lobby windows will feature an art installation designed by the China Arts and Entertainment Group that highlights the, the Year of the Ox. We invite all our fans and our friends to watch the lighting on our social pages and to visit the Empire State Building as soon as you can to see those windows in person. Happy Lunar New Year of the Ox. Hello, I'm Daniel Rosen, the founder of the Rhodium Group, and I'm here to wish a very, very happy Chinese New Year to all my friends celebrating the holiday this year at the beginning of 2021. As economists, we mark the turning of a new year because it's important for measuring the material wealth and the prosperity of individuals and nations. And with that in mind, uh, most economists are happy to say goodbye to the 12 months behind us and start a new cycle. But marking the new year is important for many other reasons as well, as the Chinese tradition commemorates. It is the start of the spring season, new beginnings, a time to have reunions with family, get together, and chart a new course forward. All of us are looking forward to the Year of the Ox being a much better one, easier one to gather with friends and family to make progress in the world than the year 2020 was behind us. While we're not entirely there yet, we've got quite a bit of work to do to finish getting through the current uh, pandemic struggles. Uh, we all, I think, can look forward to a better and easier year ahead of us, one that has much greater possibility for us to work together for a shared future. Thanks very much for inviting me to join you today. And again, Happy New Year to everyone.